What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the Hoops With Us podcast. Today, I'm joined by a very special guest. He is ranked in the top 30 for the class of 2021, Trey Alexander. Trey, how's it going, man? Going good. Can't complain. Good to hear. Good to hear, man. So, uh, Trey, what have you been during, doing during quarantine to uh, keep yourself busy, keep yourself active? I know uh, gyms have just recently started to open back up. So, uh, what have you been doing during the quarantine, man? Uh, actually, my my father has like his own gym that he's able to have access to. So I've been one of the very few to be able to actually get to the gym around this time. So, I mean, I feel like it's been a good, a successful quarantine. I feel like I'm trying to separate myself, get a little better than most guys, because because I know not everybody has a gym right now. So I've been trying to separate myself this quarantine. Absolutely, for sure, man. So Trey, for everyone out there that may have never seen you play before, uh. Just describe your game for us, if you could. Uh, I would say for, I guess, the people that describe me, uh, like for the, the top, all those reporters and everything like that, they say I'm a guy that, that scores the ball at a high level, at a high clip. Uh, I feel like I can score at any level, threes, mid-range, pull-ups, any all of that. Uh, I feel like I play – I'm a good two-way player also. I feel like I play defense at a pretty high level also. But most people say that I'm a, I'm a great scorer. They feel like I know how to get my shot off in my spots or whatever you want to call it. But they say that I'm an elite scorer. So, Absolutely, man. Yeah, I agree for sure. So let's break down your recruitment a little bit, Trey. Uh, you, you hold multiple high major offers uh, from schools such as Oklahoma, Arkansas, Texas A&M, and uh, many more. Uh, Give us a breakdown on your recruitment, if you could, man, and uh, tell us what you think is appealing to you about some of these schools that have offered you. Uh, recruiting start, starting to ramp up because I know that the senior season is coming around. COVID hit pretty hard, so these colleges aren't really really able to look at you. They're more they're more or less just uh they're more or less being able just to just to go off of their eye or what they seen last year, not knowing, but. It's ramped up a lot this year. Thank you. I'm in, I'm in a Zoom call. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, it's been, it's been starting to ramp up this year and it's been getting kind of hectic, but most of the things that appeal to this that point that I, uh, stands out to me in most of these schools is that uh, they seem to, to want to help their players and play development, like help to get their game to the next level. And they want to help, uh, help their players, whether it be outside of basketball, in basketball, and that's what I'm really looking for is a great player to coach, a great player to coach relationship to where I feel like I can go to my coach and never have any problems in or out of a basketball standpoint. Absolutely, man, for sure. So uh, what new schools have jumped into your recruitment that may have not offered yet? Uh, Florida State has jumped into recruitment. I know that Marquette has. Colorado, uh, Georgia, uh, a couple schools like Arizona, Memphis, they've been starting to come around, but uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's starting to get, it's starting to ramp up a little bit. I'm loving it. For sure, man. Absolutely. So uh, do you plan on, uh, I know you, there's still schools rolling in and that, uh, do you plan on cutting your list of schools? Do you have like a set date or uh, you're just taking it all in right now and just, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, me and my dad agreed on uh, waiting until the end of the summer to even start cutting down lists because he wants to, like, make sure that all the schools that recruit me right now got to offer and everything before I started cutting down my list. But besides that, it's, it's fair game right now. Absolutely, man. So uh, play for Heritage Hall, Heritage Hall for high school, man. Uh, tell us what it's like being a part of that program and uh, – Give us a rundown on this past season and how it went for you guys as a team and for you individually. Uh, we actually had a had a pretty good season. We we went twenty eight and five, made to the state tournament turn tournament tournament, but weren't able to finish it out because we because uh, COVID hit. So, but we were picked to win it uh, this year, and I, it kind of hurt everybody, especially our seniors, because it was their last ride. Most of them guys won't be able to play basketball in college. And yeah, it really hit us hard. And but I feel like we had a very successful season. We only losing five games and playing more of a. Well, I think we had like two national tournaments. Playing more of a national schedule and only losing five games is pretty good. Absolutely. Uh, just tell us what it's like playing on a national schedule and 
uh, against some of the best teams from around the nation, man. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a very hard competition every night. That's what I love about it. I feel like it shows like who who really works on their game. I feel like when you come around the national schedule, there are people that work just as hard as you, if not at the at the same level as you. And those are the guys that you want to be playing against in college. And so if you do, if you can match up well against those guys right now, then I feel like you'll be pretty successful at the next level and be able to help you show mm -hmm. you what you need to work on in certain types of situations and help you take your game to that next level. For sure, man. So for uh, AAU, you ran with Team Griffin on the EYBL circuit. Uh, just tell us what it's like being a part of that program and some of your most memorable moments off the top of your head, if you could tell us some. Uh, my most memorable moment with Team Griffin was definitely the Peach Jam Championship, 100%. Uh, those guys, well, it was our first year being together, and for us to build that chemistry over time, I think we only lost like three games that season at like 50-something. I feel like we were a great – we had a, were able to build a great bond with those guys, and I, those are my guys. I, it was great being able to win a – national championship with those type of guys at the at the highest level as on the best circuit in the nation uh very memorable uh moment was when we were uh everybody stormed the court after kj hit the game winning basket and everybody was going crazy it was it was just two ot's i mean it's it, the anticipation the build-up was the best part about it and the finish was even better yeah man that game was crazy i bet uh that's something you guys will never forget for the rest of your lives man so never, never forget. Absolutely. So uh, let's break down your game a little bit, Trey. Uh, your six-three shooting guard, who, like you said earlier, you can score on all three levels. Uh, you can use your dribble combos to break down to your defender to get your shot off, and you're very aggressive going to the rim as well. You can use your body to finish through contact, and you're very crafty with finishing with either hand. Uh, the question that I have for you is: What is one part of your game that you would say goes unnoticed that it may not come up on the stat sheet or it might not be in the scouting report from the other team. Uh, I think the biggest thing with me with Team Griffin was that I was – coaches were wondering, like, if I'm going to be a combo guard and I'm only, like, 6'5 and probably play the point guard and the shoot guard at, at the next level, uh, will he be able to get his teammates involved and, and what does he bring to, to a game when he's not scoring and – uh, I feel like this summer I was able to distribute for my teammates even more. Uh, of course, that pops up on the stat sheet, but I was also racked up a lot of rebounds every game. I think I averaged like eight rebounds this year in in summer ball. But it was it was just uh, me trying to find other ways to help my team besides me just scoring because uh, I know that at the next level I'm most likely going to have teammates like the guys on my team on my team Griffin team they can score at will just as well as I can and uh I can't shoot every shot so I have to be able to be able to distribute get my team teammates open and be a great leader for sure man absolutely well Trey the last question that I have for you today man is uh what are some goals that you would like to achieve as a team and for you personally in your senior season uh as a team it's always win a state championship I feel like my sophomore year I lost it my junior year was going to be the year that I got it back and then my senior year is going to be the year that I that I go as one of the best to out of Oklahoma. Uh, everybody's already starting to talk, having to talk about it. Everybody's been hyping me up, all this other stuff. And I, and there's a couple guys that don't think that I'm that good enough, that I'm not that good. So I feel like this year is more of a statement year for my team and myself. For my team is definitely, we want to definitely have win a state championship. That is the biggest thing with us. That's the biggest goal that we have every year to hold ourselves to a high standard and make it to the state championship and win it. Uh, personal goals. Um, I feel like I, I, I'm good enough to win Gatorade player of the year. And, and uh, that's was my goal last year. Uh, I think everybody was saying that I got gypped last year, but uh, I lost it to, I lost to somebody that was, that was a pretty good player. in in my opinion, Bryce Thompson, McDonald's all American, but uh, that's definitely one of my biggest goals was definitely to be able to become Gatorade player and lead my team to a state championship. For sure, man. Well, Trey, that's all the questions that I have for you, man, and I can't thank you enough for joining me on the show. Uh, looking forward to watching you in your senior season at Heritage uh, School and uh, looking forward to watching your recruitment continue to blow up, man.
Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no doubt, man. Stay safe. You too. All right, bro.